The reverse delete algorithm helps to find the minimum spanning tree from a given connected iterated graph. A minimum spanning tree MST, or minimum weight spanning tree is a subset of the edges of a connected, edge-weighted, undirected graph that connects all the vertices without any cycles and with the minimum possible total edge weight. It gives the shortest path between two nodes, finds the shortest route between two places. Let's see how it works. Consider a graph G which contains a set of edges E. Now in this graph, we have nodes A, B, C, D, E, F and G and the numbers written near each edge are weights for respective edges. For example, for edge AB, weight is 9, for edge CD, weight is 21 and similarly for others. Find the edge with maximum weight. If it does not affect the connectivity of the graph, then remove it and repeat this step until we don't find another edge to delete. Here, we have edge DG with a maximum weight of 27. So remove it and check whether the graph remains connected or not. As we can see, after removing the edge DG, the graph is still connected and we can move from node D to G or G to D with many other paths like path DEG, path DCEG and many more. Again, we have edge CD with a maximum weight of 21, so we remove it and check the connectivity of the graph. We observe that after removing edge CD, the graph is still connected, so we proceed further in a similar manner. Here, be cautious. Though the edge AB has the maximum edge weight, we will not remove the edge. If we do so, node A becomes disconnected from other component of the graph. So we ignore the edge AB and proceed. Now leaving the case of edge AB, we consider edge BC with next higher weight. We remove this edge and check the graph's connectivity. As the graph is still connected, we move forward and for the cases similar to edge AB, we will not be removing such edges. Hey, we got our final graph which looks like this. Let's understand the pseudocode. Consider the function reverse delete with array of weights and number of edges as parameters. Sort the array of weights in decreasing order to get the highest weight first and consider an index starting from 0. Then we have a loop running until the index becomes equal to number of edges. We have a container B and we assign it the weight of the edge with respective index. We replace the weight of the edge by 0 to signify that we remove the edge. Now, if the graph is not connected, we again assign the original weight to that edge, signifying that we restored the edge or we didn't remove the edge. And the index is incremented by 1 for each loop cycle to reach all edges. Finally, we return the original weights for the final edges in the graph and 0 for those which we removed. Here, E is the number of edges and V is the number of vertices. Sorting the edges by weight using comparison sort gives us a time in order of E log E and using the fact that the largest number of edges can be square of number of vertices, we get the time approximately in order of E log V. Also, number of iterations of the loop is equal to number of edges. So, for deleting an edge, checking the connectivity of the resulting graph and if it is disconnected, reinserting the edge, we get the time in order of given expression. This algorithm is a greedy algorithm. It is the reverse of Kushkal's algorithm, which is another greedy algorithm to find a minimum spanning tree. Kushkal's algorithm starts with an empty graph and adds edges, while the reverse delete algorithm starts with the original graph and deletes edges from it. An example would be having to use the least length of carpet to lay on the camp area roads. 
so that every camp house is connected to every other camp house. Then we can use the Ravas Dalit algorithm to find the solution. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share.